Welcome to Manjaro Linux tutorial number seven. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Miniconda, uh, UV package manager, and also Visual Studio Code on the Linux. So uh, let's get started. First, let's install Miniconda. Although you can find Miniconda from the uh, software repository here, Miniconda. I will not recommend using this one because sometimes this package might be a little bit outdated and you might have some problems. Um, right now, you see here, the latest one was updated in October 25th, 2024. It's not the latest one. I would recommend you just go online, just search mini, mini Conda. Then find the first link. On the left side, click installing Mini Conda. From here, you can find uh, the one for your operating system because I'm on Linux. I'm gonna click this one. And so here, uh, I think there's a one line installer here, quick command line install. I would prefer this one, click Linux. From here, you can just co copy this uh, uh, command line and then just open your terminal. So basically this command line is going to download the uh, installer to your computer and it's just going to execute. So all you need is just uh, copy, paste, then hit enter. It's going to create this Miniconda directory under your user directory. So if you go to my user directory here, uh, home. So from here, you can see it has created this Miniconda 3 and it's going to install all kind of dependencies uh, inside. It's already done. So take a look now it has finished. I would recommend you close the terminal, then open again. So hopefully everything has been set up uh, properly. Right now you can type conda. Oops. Uh, oh, you might need to add this one to the um, to the base command. So right now, let me close this one. Go to my uh, home directory. <coughs> oh, you can do this with conda init uh, on the shell. So let's go to this one. Oh, right now it's not working yet. So if, even if you just conda. It doesn't recognize, recognize the command yet. So let's go to the uh, base command here, and then you can press Alt and period. It's gonna show uh, the hidden files. Probably if it's just added into this base command here, if you scroll down to the end, uh, it's not here. Let me look at this one. Uh, it's not also not included. Let me touch it. It used to be uh, added, so I'm not sure why is not working so let's do this one um just you need to source the command so that it can be recognized paste oops remove those ex uh, extra at the beginning source all right so now you can see it's being recognized now oh, okay and then you can just conda in it all it's initialized and then make changes to your uh, base script so you can see here now it's been modified if you go to this one here, it should be updated now. Uh, so now I can close the terminal, open everything again. Just type conda, it should work now, okay. Also, by the way, uh, I usually I would recommend don't activate the base environment automatically because sometimes you might be using the pip install command. You accidentally um, install packages into the base uh, 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 environment. This is something that you may not want. So you can turn this one off, conda config, and then this dash set auto activate base equal to false. So in this way, this one is not activated automatically. So now if I close this one, open it again, you see, so now it's not, the base environment is not activated but the conda command should still work right so you can see it just works just fine next uh what i would recommend is to install mamba on your system so you can just conda install um dc conda force mamba uh you can install into the base. i think by default it's installing into the base environment so it should be fine or you can just to be more explicit here this n base so in that way, it's specifically installing to the base environment. And in the future, anytime you are using Conda, you can replace with Mamba. And Mamba is so much faster uh, because it was implemented using C++. 
Conda sometimes can be very slow installing large packages. So I would recommend just install Mamba here. A couple of, uh, seconds. Now it should be ready to go. And anywhere that you are using Conda, now I can use Mamba. So uh, the Mamba is, has been installed into the base environment. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create um, Conda environment, how to uh, uh, do the, uh, set up your environment for doing deep learning. But for now, um, this all we need to do is to install Miniconda. The other one I would recommend is to install UV. So you can Google UV Package Manager. And this is a recent one that has uh, become very popular. It's super, super fast. And I would recommend if you are doing sometimes installing packages using pip, uh, this is a very good uh, replacement. So go to this web page in here, a GitHub repository, and then click this uh, website. Click installation and scroll down. You will be able to find the command lines in here. Depends on which operating system. So these things work across platform. I'm going to just copy this command. So similarly, I can come here, open my term terminal, and then just paste. Uh, hit enter. It's a very tiny one, so it's going to download the package and then install. And uh, it has been added to this. Just type NV. You see, super cool, super super fast. And this is for good for project based. Um, if you're working on Python project and you want to create isolated environment, I can come here, for example, create a new project, taste, and double click. Inside, you can just start creating Python environment. All you need is just UV, V, E, N, V. So it's going to create a virtual, uh, basically, uh, um, isolated Python environment. It's on here, dot V, N, uh, V, N, V. And after that, you can just pip, uh, UV pip install. For example, um, Jupyter Lab. Hit enter. It's going to install it. It's super fast. It's much faster than if you're using the traditional pit. Also, uh, you'll be able to see uh, everything here. And after that, you can just write UV run Jupyter Lab. Oops. Hit enter. <laughs> it's open Jupyter Lab uh, on your computer, and then you're going to open in a new tab. So from here, then you can start doing coding. For example, print. Hello, it should work. So this is how we can easily set up Python environment. Last piece of software we want to install is VS Code. So just Google VS Code. You can uh, download it from uh, here, but because we're on Manjaro Linux, you can install this one. So VS Code is pretty updated um, if you install from here. So just go here and then just V-I-S-U, S-T-U-D-I-O code. You can also in install using a terminal uh, if you want to. So v VS Code here, Visual Studio Code Bing. So this is the one that you need to install. The latest version was uh, February the 6th. So it was released a couple of days ago. Uh, pretty cool. Then just click this button, apply. Apply. And you to download the package, enter your password, hit enter. Hopefully it's not taking too long. So uh, you can also install the insider version. So this one basically is the, uh, you're gonna get the breathing age uh, version, but sometimes it might not be very stable. So for me, I use this go with the Visual Studio Code and they should be uh, good enough. If you wanna see the detail, you can come here, look at what this one is doing. It's downloading the package and then just compiling. After that, you're going to install this one to your system. So these are the three uh, pieces of software that I use daily to do open source. So you need Miniconda or UV to install a uh, created uh, uh, isolated Python environment. And uh, you can use VS Code or Jupyter Lab to do coding. All right, so it's done. And after that, uh, you can open VS Code. So you can go to your um, start menu, then you can uh, right click. You can add to the favorite or for me, because I use it all the time, I can just put it task to my, uh, ping it to my task manager, and then you can open. Once it's open, uh, one way uh, I would recommend is to uh, just sign up to log into your uh, GitHub account. And after that, you, you should be able to uh, start doing coding and then select the Python environment. So this is uh, going to get you ready uh, for doing open source. Okay, so this is what I want to share in this video. I will see you in the next one.